Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. I made it back. Buzz and I are home, and we're getting all settled in and everything, and, and uh, you know, starting to get back on track with everything, all, all our stuff. So, anyway, I just wanted to get in here. I'm going to get in here and make us some cookies this evening. You know, cookies always make you feel better, don't they? Right? So, I'm going to make us a batch of lemon sugar cookies. But uh, before I get started, I want to tell y'all all, once once again, just how very thankful we are for all the love and hugs and prayers and thoughts from everybody, and know that know that I've seen them, y'all, and know that I've heard them from you, and that I feel the love. And uh, that's thanks from all the family, from Buzz and I, and from his brother and and wife and Bob and Lori, and uh, from their daughter and her husband for uh, all of it for Amy Lynn. Uh, we know she's with God and we're gonna rest on that. So we're getting back in the swing of things and we're gonna get our stuff going, you know, right? That's what you gotta do, give it to the good Lord and rest on it. And that's what we're doing. I've had a blessed day today. It's been a good day and I'm gonna get in there and make some cookies and I hope y'all have had a blessed day. So let's do it y'all, lemon sugar cookies, old time lemon sugar cookies. Don't you like having a jar of them sitting on your counter? That always makes you feel better. My granny always had cookies, y'all. Granny had peanut butter cookies, no matter what. When we were going to granny's, I knew she was going to have some peanut butter cookies in the cookie jar. So, anyway, we're going to do it. Y'all ready? Get you a pencil. I've got my oven preheated at 375. That's the first thing I did, right? And I've got all my stuff here. Let me get my little towels. My little towel thingy from Miss Polly. So I use this thing, y'all. I love it, man. Them rags are right there, handy and ready. You know, I get, I, I, I've been enjoying this thing. All right, we're gonna get on with this recipe. I have everything sitting out here. The first thing we want to do is just get us a little old small size bowl, and we're gonna mix our dry ingredients up. Okay? I've got two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour right there. And now in this little bowl here, y'all, I have a half a teaspoon each of baking soda, baking powder, and just regular old salt. One half teaspoon each of those. And I just put them all in the same little bowl here and we're gonna put them in there with our flour. And that's all we gotta do. That's our dry ingredients that we're gonna mix together there. Just kind of give it a stir. Whisk it up. I just use my little hand whisk. Get done like that. Okay. And there's that. Now, the next thing we got to do is I've got, I've got me a mixing bowl here. And I have one cup of regular old granulated sugar, right? I'm going to put me a, my cup of sugar in there. And here I have three quarters of a cup of butter. And I've got it kind of, I've had it sitting out. I hope it's kind of softened up a little bit. If it ain't, it'll soften up when I go to beating it up in there, but it, it's okay. So try to give it a, a minute to, you know, get warm a little bit, take it out a little bit early if you get a chance. But if not, just move on with it, right? Okay, so I've got my butter and sugar in here and I need to cream these together. So I'm gonna beat on this until I get it good and uh, creamy. And then we'll come back and add our other things to this. So just cream your butter and sugar real well. Okay, so I've got that creamed up together like that. See, just beating together my cup of sugar and uh, three quarters cup of butter. So now I've got me one egg cracked in this bowl. I'm gonna add me an egg and beat it in there. Got that pretty and creamy. Got our egg in there. And now we want, we need our lemon for it. So what I did was I've got me, I've got me a lemon here. See, and I went ahead and just cut one in half and I juiced it because I need two tablespoons of lemon juice, right? 
I'm gonna go ahead and put my lemon juice in there, two tablespoons. And then I need the zest of one lemon, y'all. I'm gonna see if I can do it across here. Let me see. Get that off there enough where hopefully it'll stand up. Okay, I need the zest of a lemon. Well, I went ahead and zested the one that the half, all it took me was this half a lemon to get my two tablespoons. It was a good juicy lemon. So I went ahead and zested it since it was kind of funky, but I still have the other half of, of it over here because I wanted to use my new zester. I love this thing, y'all. So I'm just gonna use this other half. This thing is awesome. I love this thing. But they ain't lying about it. It is sharp, sharp, sharp. And y'all know, Califay got to be careful around a sharp blade. Lord have mercy, y'all know I'll do it. So I don't want nothing in there but lemon zest, right? <laughs> That's all I want in there. Oh, oh. I'm trying to be careful with it, but this thing is wonderful. I mean, it just pulls it off of there like nobody's business. Okay, here we go. I can save the other part of that lemon for me. Look at that. Oh, how wonderful. I love it. All right, I'm gonna get my zest in there. The zest of one lemon and two tablespoons of juice. That's all we need on that. Okay, there's our zested lemon. Now we're gonna need us some vanilla. I want a teaspoon of vanilla. What is that in Tally Faye's world? Uh-huh, there it is, right there. Bam, there's my teaspoon, cap full. All right. I gotta stir this up. I wanna stir that up. Let me make sure I got my I got my lemon juice, my lemon zest, my vanilla, my egg. Yep, that's all I gotta have, y'all. So I'm gonna stir this up real quick with my beaters, and then I'm gonna we'll be using our wooden spoon after that. So let me get this stirred up. All right, there we go with that. Now, we need our dry ingredients. That's what we gotta do. We got that all beat together and now we're gonna stir. We don't wanna beat, try to beat this. We're just gonna put our dry ingredients in there, just like that. And now we're gonna take our wooden spoon or a good stiff spoon and just start stirring it up. Get our dough ready. I think these will be good. It's just so hard in the summertime, y'all. The summertime makes it hard for, or it does for me, because we just want, you know, we get tired of eating that real light food the whole time. We just can't do it. We got to have some substance, right? Or like, uh, I'm not going to video it, but like, while well, I'm stirring this up, I'll tell you. Like tonight, me and Buzz are going to, uh, have uh, fried pork chops, mashed potatoes and gravy, and some fried okra. That's what we're gonna have for supper tonight. And then we can sit down in there and try to rest up some more and get ready, you know, for tomorrow. But uh, while we're doing that, we can sit down and watch us a movie or something and eat lemon sugar cookies. <laughs> I'll be wanting to get me a cup of coffee though. Do it like that. Okay, I'm on, I got them stirred up. I wanna stir, I wanna make sure I got it all good. That's why I like to use my, uh, my wooden spoon with this one, y'all. See how it's coming together? Oh, it smells so good. That lemon just smells wonderful in there. But I love lemon anything just about. Okay, we got it stirred up. That's all we gotta do there. Let me see this. Okay. 
get it off of there. Oh my goodness, y'all, all these little tools and everything y'all are sending me are just amazing how much they help in the kitchen to have these things. Okay, got, all right. my lemons out of the way here and what I'm gonna do is I just got me a regular old cookie sheet I don't have nothing on it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spray it or anything just leave it like that okay and I've got me a little got my little scoop here to help me with it a little bit because I'm gonna take them and just scoop them out of here Oh, I gotta get, oh, what I forgot to tell you was you gotta have a little bowl of sugar for rolling them in, okay? So this is like, I don't know, quarter to half a cup. I just dipped it out of there, right? But you gotta have some sugar for rolling them in. So I take it out of that little thing, and I'm just gonna take them and roll them in that sugar. Look what a mess, look at that, y'all, already. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, we're gonna get them put on here. I'm just gonna keep dip in cookie dough roll it out do that drop it in my little sugar bowl get it covered and do them like that right there so let me get my pan filled up all righty there's our first little tray of them a little pan of them so i'm gonna get them put them in the oven 375 it's supposed to be around 12 minutes like or so but what you do is that it's supposed to be a little bit golden just around the edges. But I do not like my cookies. I don't like mine being crunchy all the way through. I'm the chewy cookie person. But if you want them the, you know, a little bit, if you like them crunchy, just let them bake a little longer. It's no big deal, right? So, anyway, that's up to you. But uh, as far as I'm being done, it's supposed to be around 12 minutes, give or take. We'll see how long it takes mine in there. Because I'll, I'll watch them, y'all, but... In the oven they're going, lemon sugar cookies. All right, I've had them in there 12 minutes, y'all. And now see how they're just on the edges? Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it a little bit, I think. Just on the edges, a little bit golden brown. Now, y'all don't have to do this, but I always like to do this with my cookies. I take them and I'll drop that pan on there and it kind of makes them settle. Because I want them to settle. I don't want them to be a big old huge fat thing. I want a cookie. If I wanted cake, I'd leave it, right? <laughs> That's just a tally fay thing though. So I'm gonna let them sit here and cool in the pan for five minutes and then take them up and put them on my rack and let them finish cooling there. But I'm going to give them about five minutes, take them up, put them on the rack, and then get my second pan going. This is supposed to make about 24 cookies, y'all. Is that my hair? Oh, no. <laughs> um, it's supposed to make about 24 cookies. So, we'll see, you know. But anybody, they look great. We're going to find out. All right, y'all. So, I got them all out of there, cooled, and ready to go in the jar. I wanted to say that, okay, on the first batch i did them for 12 minutes like it called for and everything and this is totally a uh, uh personal preference right so the second batch i did i literally did mine for nine minutes compared to 12 right and that gave them a little bit more made them be a little bit more chewy or cookie like i wanted but still got them baked and everything but i was going to show you like the difference and this is just a tally fay cookie now, y'all. That's the only reason I'm saying that. Let me find one. Let's see. Well, now I'm trying to find them. Okay. That's the, okay. It's, you can't really tell the difference in, but see the bottoms? That one's a little extra. It's not even one to compare it to. That one is. See, there you go. But they are still, I mean, these are just as delicious as these. These just have, I took them out just a little bit earlier. And if you're looking at it, you can see how it's kind of sinking in some. And that gives it that chewy thing that I'm wanting. 
And see, here's one I broke in half to taste of it. See, it'll still do that. Just like that, right? And they're very, very good, y'all. They're very lemony and sugary. I love that. I'm going to be eating them up. I guarantee you. But that's up to you if you want to do anywhere from 9 to 12 minutes, okay? But I think 12 minutes tops is the uh, best way to, you know, is the, is the, not the best way, is the most you would want to do on it, okay? And you have to let them, if you're not going to, I would say you could use parchment paper because that sugar on them, uh, baking on that pan, that sugar candies to the pan, so it's kind of hard to get them off there. And if you let them cool for five minutes or more on the cookie sheet, they come up off there much easier. But y'all know I'm always rushing things. Anyway, you let them cool five minutes on the cookie sheet and then take them off and put them on your little cooling rack. But that's just little tips on it and stuff. Uh, you'll figure that out when you go to messing with them. But I'm just going to take them and put them in my little cookie jar. Just like that, y'all. A nice little batch. Uh -oh. Boil my potatoes over while I'm standing here talking to y'all. That wouldn't shock you, would it? It'd be my another tally frame mess for the evening. Look at that, though. Doesn't that look good just doing that? Mm-mm-mm. Put them in there. I'm going to have them out on the cabinet. And we'll have us a beautiful little jar of cookies. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That makes me feel good already. <laughs> Y'all don't be scared. You can do this. That's the easy recipe. That was easy. And put them in your little jar and do it like that. So, uh, it's the little things that make you happy, right? Make you thankful and all that. I'm thankful for a jar of cookies. So, listen, y'all have a wonderful evening. And we'll get back on track here and get to doing some cooking and all. And, and I love y'all. I appreciate everything from all of you. I love all of you. So, Y'all lift each other up and stay good and stay blessed. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.